Welcome back. So if you feel like you've hit a plateau in life, keep going. You can push on past that feeling of being stuck, which is known as stagnation. Here with a cure is growth coach LaShonda Lee. So stagnation, right? This yes. is something that maybe we've all felt it, but mm -hmm. we didn't know how to define it. What is yes. the definition? You know, Linda, that is a great question. And as a growth coach, I help women who struggle with getting unstuck mm -hmm. discover resilience so they own their brilliance to live that authentic life. And mm -hmm. so stagnation is when your activity, your growth, and your development either cease or come to a stop. And one of the things I wanted to mention is that pro uh, procrastination and stagnation are two different things. Procrastination is when you avoid doing things that need to be done, that have a timeline. Mm -hmm. And so procrastination absolutely will lead to stagnation. Okay, so if you're putting off what can be done today, mm -hmm. it's more than just not hitting deadlines. Yes. It actually could be affecting your overall development. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. so what are some of the effects of being stagnant? You know, in, in, in a short and simple, it mm -hmm. actually stops you in your track. I like to think of it, yeah, stop you Gosh. in your tracks. And I like no to think to of, that. no one likes to, yeah. right? I like to think of it like this, stagnation is an assassination to your destination. I love those rhymes. That really like kind of gets it, gets yes. you on track and pulls it full circle. Absolutely. I love it. And so when you think about it, you're like, wait a minute, I may be doing something right now that's hindering me from getting to the destination I said I want to get to. Okay. So we know what it is. We know mm -hmm. why it can be bad because, yes. hey, you want to reach your destiny. You yeah. want to reach that full potential. But you know, how can we tell if we're somebody like, hey, I'm guilty, I could be heading towards being stagnant. And you know, Belinda, that is an incredible question and here are three telltale signs. Okay. One, if you are already experiencing chronic procrastination towards your goals. Um, two, if you have not achieved anything significant or new within the last 30, 60 or 90 days. And then lastly, if you just have that deep sense that you are living beneath your potential, those are three signs that say I'm headed towards stagnation. So Put the brakes on it. So you would say, like, this is something that we're going to be able to realize. We're going to feel it. Yes. Okay. Yes. You have to because if you don't have anyone holding you accountable to what you say you want, you have to have something internal holding you accountable. Okay. So yeah. now let's take stagnation and try to take it to transformation. You know, how can we actually make a difference in our own lives and sort of get rid of that? Yeah, because that's what we want to do. And you know, Belinda, uh, you and I have personality styles and traits. Everybody have personality styles mm -hmm. and traits. Each style has a weakness and they come with strength. Like my style is actually prone to procrastination. And so I have to okay, be, do yes, tell. Wait, this is you. yes, okay. yes, my style is prone towards procrastination. So I have to be very intentional. Mm -hmm. And so four things that I know will help anyone overcome that stagnation is first of all, assess what's keeping you stuck. Mm -hmm. Is it fear? Is it insecurity, laziness, <laughs> boredom, oh, gosh. maybe stress, A list. right? Those are some things that can keep you stuck. Secondly, challenge yourself to gain clarity. What do you envision your life looking like over the next five weeks? Mm -hmm. Don't make it so long, but five weeks. What Doable. do you want to do? Yeah. Yes. What do you want to do? What do you want to create? And how do you want to be in the next five weeks? And then next, remove baggage. Mm -hmm. Anything that's not serving your purpose, get rid of it, especially distractions. And then lastly, hold yourself accountable as well. You know, ask yourself, am I on track? What am I doing? Is it working? And then connect with people who will challenge you, who will bring out the best in you. If you do these things, you will absolutely be able to get over the hump. Well, thank you so much, LaShonda, for all of those great tips. Thank you.